I don't think I'm supposed to be up here. But I lost all my fishing lures. Got stuck down by the river. Got talked to by fishing game. And then I got a flat tire a quarter mile into my bike ride. So I gotta go buy a tube in town. Anyways, that's enough fun on the river for me. There's a bunch of steelhead in the river, but I'm not sticking around to try and catch one and get a ticket from fishing game, so. See ya. We are at Redfish Lake trying to get motivated to go out getting help launching the canoe. They just had a $20 bag sale. I've never done a $20 bag sale. They got trail mix, bungee cords, coffee, fudge, um, all types of potatoes. Probably a month's worth of potatoes and then a hat and a t-shirt. So, 20 bucks. It's the last of the money in my bank account for a while. But the plan is to go out on the lake for three days, so I shouldn't have to spend any money. There it is. And yeah, I'm trying to get amped up. It's the last day of the season. Like I said, they just closed up October 7th. Today is Sunday. Awesome brunch, last brunch of the season. They're pulling all the boats out for the year, and I'm trying to get mine in the water for the next three days. It was 10 degrees here last night, so it's going to be fun. Well, I bolted the oar locks together backwards, which sucks, because I drilled these holes, and they're backwards. So now i got to flip it around and try and use the holes if I can. Then it's not all square. So, Anyways, and I forgot to hook the kite up, the sail up right, so now it's going as a kite. Not really that efficient, but I'm not getting anywhere fast or needing to get anywhere fast, so. Gotta go find a spot to tie up the hook, because I got a lot of organizing. Everything's just kind of thrown in the boat. But I'm off on Lake in Idaho. Redfish Lake, that's where I'm at. Gonna go hang out underneath the mountains tomorrow. Good I'm doing all these trial runs before trying to row to Alaska. I still have no idea how I'm going to row to Alaska. But I got a better tent going tonight, so there it is. The boom, or the sail rig all wrapped up. And then it goes back. The oars are stood up. Bungee cord, bungee cord, bungee cord. And now i got to work on hanging the tarp out to the almas. Hoping to find some good wood tomorrow for that one. And maybe on that side too. But I'm going to keep working on getting set up. And break some rules. Hopefully since it's out of season. Nobody will care that I'm breaking the rules. Survived a deep freeze last night. The set was supposed to be 16 degrees. I don't think it felt that cold. But I've never slept in a canoe in 16 degrees weather, so I wouldn't know. But I think with the water, obviously the water wasn't 16 degrees. And I'm right on the water. And the way I set that boom tent up, it kind of catches heat coming off the water. So I think it's actually quite a bit warmer. Although, all the bags and stuff were all, everything was frozen over. Except for the dog. I'm sailing. 
barely can hear a creek or I was hearing a creek bubbling over there not so much anymore and then just as I was taking off today go back there I saw an eagle take off for maybe hunting and I think I can hear the young, I don't know if they would have young in the fall, but young hungry eagles somewhere off in the trees over there. It'd be fun to get a shot of that. They tore off the docks, tore up the docks and put them on the beach just as soon as I finished eating my oatmeal for breakfast. So I was the last person, probably the only person to ever tie off and stay the night on those docks anyways, because it says no overnight morning. Yeah, we're gonna go around that point there and see what the mountains look like in the back of the lake. But I'm really enjoying this ride. I'm not going any faster than I can. That's how I tell if I'm moving sometimes I spit in the water and make sure that it goes past me. But we'll find a spot to anchor back there behind the point underneath the mountains.